Hey guys, it's Noah Smith and I'm here with a tutorial and it is on uh, tubes and supports for tracks. I've had a couple requests for this. So uh, let's get started. So basically you're going to need, you can use any sort of rod, but I'm using these red classic rods. They work pretty well. And then your track with the spine, you can be micro, it could be classic too. And then transition rod from micro to or standard or micro. One of those, some of these you can use uh, those green ones or you can use uh, these orange ones here too. But so let's get started. So <clears throat> we're going to start with the tube. So we're going to start with one of these white connectors. And then we're going to put three rods in here. Probably something like uh, this. If you can see that. Yeah. And then we're going to add more white connectors. So you're going to need a lot of white connectors for this. So we're going to add one in the middle there, and then add one up top. So you're probably thinking this is a pretty uh, pretty flimsy tube. It's only got three rods, right? Well, uh, so we're not done yet. So there's something called staggering, and you can use this for, for, for even making the spine on the track but we're going to use it in tubes here. So basically what it is, is you start, it, it, your rods are continuously going straight. They don't all start in the same place. Because if they all started in the same place, then you'd have all the pressure concentrated on uh, all these rods. It's, it's not distributed and it'll, it'll be really a really bad tube. So what we want to do is we want to take, put another three in, on the middle, starting on the middle rod. So see, we got that. And make sure you still leave two spaces right here for, for, for more rods. So then we add another connector. So, and you know what, just for fun, we could probably add few rods here if you wanted but I'm not gonna do that right now and also so your ends are going to have just like three or two rods so what you can do is you can add yellow rods right in here and that will uh, strengthen it a little, little bit more but here I'm gonna make it longer actually so we're gonna start another one here just two like this as you can see and then another white rod, I mean connector. Rods, connector. And then we got that, right? So now we're going to start, we just basically keep building it up like this, kind of staggering it. And when you have another one like this, you can add uh, these orange rods. It'll help keep the rods in place. I mean, orange connectors, it'll keep the rods in place. So you can get, do that. And then, so yeah, something like that. And uh, do the same for the other two rods. And so yeah, you, oops. Well, sometimes this might happen, you probably, Okay, there we go. So yeah, and we can add one more uh, connector up top. So now we got this. So we got our tube, and you can add a few more rods here. So we're gonna wanna connect it to a base, right? So you can make a base like this with any sort of rod you want, and any, anything. It's pretty flexible, you really don't have to do it any certain way, just as long as you have a base. And then, I take these two red rods and connect the tube to the base like this. Some people probably do it different ways, but I like it. And then another thing you can do is you can have a second tube, which is what you probably should do, but I'm not going to do this in the interest of time. You can put another rod right here and have a triangle, and that makes it so much stronger. I mean, not rod, but tube. It makes it so much stronger and better, but I'm going to just keep stay with this. 
And then we can take our transition rod and put it up top here. And then we take our track, connect it to a micro rod that's on the track. And then you can shape it, do all sorts of stuff. But you are going to have to have a lot of these supports. So basically, yeah, this is this is uh, how I make my tubes and uh, how I connect them. And uh, let's see. So yeah, I say there's a drop here. But yeah, you can add a tube right here. So if you have any questions, if this is a little too confusing or something, just feel free to comment, ask any questions you want. I really don't care. Yeah, just I'll answer them. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was helpful, and thank you for watching.